Guys, yesterday, Google published a new blog post on the blog.google website. Stay productive and connected with these new Android features. So I thought it would be fun to quickly go through these. I was hoping they would arrive on one of my other Android devices and I could just like show you them on my phone, but this has not apparently arrived yet to everybody. So I'm just gonna use their blog post and we're just gonna talk through them this way. So let's scroll down here. AI assistance on your side. Now we have had the at a glance widget with the Google app for years, but it appears as though finally Google is updating this, giving it a fresh coat of paint, which is actually kind of interesting because it does not look anything like what it looks like on their own Pixel phones, which is up at the top of the screen. It's very minimal on the Pixel phones. This has a big round pill shape behind it, a material you design look to it, but it's gonna have that same sort of functionality where it's gonna be showing you information that it thinks is relevant when it thinks it's relevant. As you can see there, weather, departure times for flights, baggage claim information, but it should also be showing you things like if you have a package being delivered. Just interesting little uh, in bits of information about your life right there in that widget. And as you can see, it does have a brand new design. This next one is actually really, really intelligent and really cool for people who might need this sort of assistance. They say scrolling through images in a group chat, photos on your camera, even on social media can often be inaccessible for people who are blind or low vision. What this app is gonna do is it's gonna take a look at that image on your screen and it's going to use AI to pump out a description for you. So maybe you can't see it all that well, but it can actually read this back to you and tell you a pretty good description of what this image is. And as you can see, you can actually ask questions about this item, about this photo. Is the beach busy? Does the dog look playful? And it's gonna answer these questions. This is really, really cool. For anybody that actually needs this, I could see this being an absolute game changer. This is something I don't know why it's not been there from the beginning. With Google Wallet, they're now adding photo import. They say you can digitize passes that have a barcode or a QR code like Gemma library cards. Simply upload an image of the pass to a secure digital version of it in your Google Wallet. This is like so reasonable. This is something that I expected to be there in the past. I actually tried to do this like a few months back and I was like, oh, I guess that's not a thing. Really silly that it wasn't, but I'm glad that it's there now. New communication apps are coming to Android Auto. Have you ever wanted to take a WebEx, Cisco, or Zoom meeting inside the convenience of your car? Well, now you'll be able to do that so that work can never not find you. There is no escape from work, even in your car you'll be taking your Zoom meetings. This is an interesting one to me as well. I actually use these routines. I use the good morning, good night routines to do all sorts of things in my house. Good morning will turn on all my lights, turn off my air conditioner that is in the bedroom because I am a warm sleeper. It will give me the forecast for the morning. And now apparently it can actually read off my sleep stats in the morning. It can pull that from the Fitbit app and tell you if you slept well or not. Now, I guess for some of us, you'd say, well, wouldn't I know if I slept well? But if you are a sleep tracking person like myself, maybe you want to see those broken down statistics. Apparently now it's going to be able to read those off for you, which again, isn't super useful for everybody. But for some of us, that's a pretty cool feature. So guys, this should all be rolling out to your Android device. This is not the Pixel feature drop. This is just an Android feature drop. So it should be rolling out to your device over the next days and weeks. Let me know if any of these are exciting to you. Nothing super exciting, I would say, but definitely some cool stuff. So again, let me know what your favorite item out of this was. Subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you in the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.